So the Greens have a new idea. No, idea is one word for it. Ridiculous brain fart that will never happen is a more accurate descriptor. The Greens think rents are too high, which they are. Over the past year or so, they're up 9.15% in capital cities and 108 in the regions. They're rising faster than at any time in the past 14 years and forcing families to cut corners to make rent. The solution, according to Greens housing spokesperson Max Chandler Mater, is a nationwide price freeze. Wow, problem solved. Easy done. The great thing about being a Greens MP is you can come up with any well-intentioned hippy-dippy plan Woodstock, baby. because you know you'll never have the numbers to implement it and therefore won't be held accountable when it's a catastrophic failure. Because nobody is voting for you. Because you are a bunch of complete f***ing idiots with no idea about how the real world works because you live in your own alternate reality. Why do you think rents are going up? You're going to drone on now about supply and demand, there aren't you? There aren't enough houses. The only way to get rents down is increase the supply of housing or reduce the demand for housing. Kill everyone. That's your plan. The option two is not on the table. Phew. So we must increase supply. It's the only fix. To do that, you need to convince an investor to build a house and rent it out. You're in my world now, Grandma. Is an investor more or less likely to do that if they know the rent they can charge is artificially capped? Well... You don't have to answer. We all know the answer. Greens housing spokesperson Max chandler Mater knows the answer as well. He knows his argument is patently absurd, but when you've only got four seats in the House of Reps, you tend to do anything to get a bit of attention. Boat one, Greens. If you want to live in a box. And hey, why stop at freezing rents? Yeah. Lots of things are going up in price, like early contract payments to Formula One drivers. <laughs> uh, 2022 will be my last year with McLaren. Daniel Ricciardo has parted ways with McLaren a year early and is reportedly pocketing $14 million by doing so. You lose a bunch of races and you get penalised with a $14 million golden handshake. Just want to say appreciate you. I so want that job. It's safer sitting behind a camera to be honest. <laughs> Very true. God damn it, God damn it. Oh. And some people reckon 14 mil puts you on the bread line. I think I had uh, like a, maybe $30 million left. Or 30 or 40 million dollars left in 2008. Why don't we freeze grocery prices? Woolworth says its $1.5 billion profit is flat because shoppers are trading down. Canned veggies and fish fingers are back on the menu, boys. Or we could freeze the price of airline tickets. They're through the roof at the moment. At least I've got my $50 Qantas voucher. Yeah, you can put it towards the cost of the new suitcase you'll have to buy when yours gets lost. What matters most, though, is that your next journey is a smooth one. Again, I want to apologise. Alan Joyce's apology vouchers rubbed salt into the wound after the Qantas website crashed when people rushed to redeem them. Sorry. They rushed because the backhanded apology came with a catch. You had to accept the offer by September and book by November. So how much will these sorry vouchers cost Qantas? A lot. But that's a problem for this financial year. Joyce is busy trying to get over last financial year, a harrowing 12 months in which he's just admitted his company lost $1.86 billion. It's a lot of quiche, <laughs> you know, a cake. Joyce says it's only a flesh wound and he's got to keep moving. And he has no plans to quit as the boss of the national carrier. Release your grip, release your <laughs> The 2021-22 loss means the red rue is seven billion in the red since the start of the pandemic. So Alan's options are narrowing. We could sell tickets at high prices. I'm Ben Harvey. For more up late, click the subscribe button below.